Hello everyone, I am NM Lipsa and today I will be sharing with you a class activity, a game for the supply chain management course. It's no secret that I don't drink, but I know clinking glasses with friends and toasting with other people is about so much more than alcohol. Have you ever played beer game? but with no beers? Let us know about the beer game today. The beer game has become very popular game and it is played in operation management courses. It is played in supply chain management courses since it was developed by MIT in 1960s. The game simulates the flow of product and information in a simple supply chain consisting of a retailer, a wholesaler, a distributor, and a manufacturer. So uh, one person can take the role of each supply chain partner in a typical game. And the objective is to minimize the total supply chain inventory and the back order cost. So what you can do in this way, a class can be separated into any number of four person supply chain and each supply chain competing against the others. Let us now know the learning objectives. The purpose of beer game is to experience systematic effects and to introduce the need for supply chain. Specifically, it shows how single parts in a system influence each other, how individual thinking differs from systematic thinking, basically, the network thinking, and what are the potentials for system optimization and the use of information system. So basically, the game is used to illustrate the bullwhip effect and the importance of timely and accurate communication and information with respect to purchases along the supply chain. So let us now discuss the supply chain structure for the game. You can see there is a picture over here and it is showing different parts of the supply chain. There is one retailer, there is one wholesaler, there is a distributor and the factory or you can say the manufacturer. And it is also showing the direction of order flow and the product flow. The way, you know, the order goes like from the retailer, the order goes to the wholesaler. The wholesaler makes an order to the distributor. The distributor makes an order to the factory, right? And once the order is received, then there will be, you know, transportation of the product from factory to distributor, distributor to wholesaler, wholesaler to retailer, and finally the end consumer. So the retailer, which is, you know, in the pink color, they has to fulfill the end consumer's order. The wholesaler, they are represented in the yellow color and has to fulfill the retailer's order. The distributor, which is represented in green color, has to fulfill the wholesaler's order. And finally, the factory or the manufacturer, which is represented in blue color, has to produce the beer to fulfill the distributor's order. And in this flow, remember, everything moves mostly clockwise for the order and in this game no one is allowed to share any information other than the current order quantities so as might be you know in the real world it is found unmanaged or unlinked supply chains so no other communication except how much quantity you want to order Now, let us know about the rules of the game. As Albert Einstein said, you have to learn the rules of the game. 
and then you have to play better than anyone else right so let us know the rules of the game first one is relating to the inventory you have to find out the total ending inventory cost and for that the rule is that each ending inventory cost is around one dollar then the next rule is that the back order cost is two dollar each right whenever you are making any kind of order remember there is one week order delay between the customer order and the supplier acceptance so remember for factory distributor is the customer for distributor wholesaler is the customer for wholesaler retailer is the customer and then for retailer the end you end customers are their customers so whenever there will be an order remember there is one week order delay between the customer order and supplier acceptance the next rule is that there is two week transportation delay from the time of the customer order is received until that order reaches the customer okay and every time the customer will make demand but remember the quantity demanded from each customer it will be varying it will be different right because sometimes some customer may order a large quantity of you know uh, of the beer sometimes they may order less you know cases of beer so the demand will vary from customer for the starting condition of the game you know for week 0 there is availability of ending inventory of 12 cases of beer and 4 cases of beer in each in 3 transits and finally remember placing an order to the supply chain may vary between a retailer wholesaler and distributor so these are the basic game rules for this beer game so what is your goal what you have to do your goal is to minimize your cost if you are a retailer if you are you are a wholesaler if you are a distributor if you are a manufacturer your goal is to lower your cost as much as possible now which type of cost you have to lower you have to lower your inventory cost you have to lower or minimize your back order cost let us first discuss about the inventory cost items in the stock cost around one dollar per week in holding cost okay if there will be any kind of ending inventory or holding it it is one dollar per week let us now see the back order cost suppose there is an incoming order but you cannot fu fulfill it fully right those items are outstanding and you have to put them on back order list and each item on the back order cost around two dollar per week so remember and think how you can minimize your cost what way how much quantity you have to order so that there will be no overstock and there will be no you know less quantity of stock right under stock how you can manage your cost based on the quantity of order you are making that is your goal minimize your cost so in order to minimize your cost as i have mentioned in the previous slide you have to avoid any kind of stockouts you have to avoid any kind of back orders now in order to do that 
this requires attempting to forecast the future demand accurately in each supply chain okay and here i have shared with you some of the festivals some of the ho holidays the biggest beer buying holidays so a business is supposed to effectively manage their inventory during this hectic holiday season and if you are in charge of your company's cost do not let poor inventory management cut in cut your company's profit whether the businesses are experiencing stock shortage or surplus poor inventory management is very very costly and i have found some data from cnbc recently they mentioned that out of stocks overstocks and returns if there will be any kind of reverse logistic or recalls these are costing the retailers around 1.75 trillion dollar per year it's huge right these are the numbers that large brands can withstand big companies they can manage it they can afford it but it can lead to bankruptcy if it is a small business that amount of cost is huge being out of stock during the peak season causes missed sales opportunities overselling fuel aggravation frustration and brand distrust in customers so the retailers who are overstocked have unsold product they have take up the space in the warehouse and that leads to cutting of your profits so you don't want to cut your profit you want to increase your profit right so just manage your inventory manage the inventory cost by avoiding any kind of stock outs and back orders let us now discuss about the starting conditions of the game at the beginning of the game that is in week 0 each supply chain member except the manufacturer has 12 cases of beer in ending inventory four cases in the second week of the inbound transportation delay four cases in the first week updated of the inbound transportation delay and four cases in the beginning of the second week of inbound transportation delay just like that the manufacturer has 12 cases of beer in the ending inventory and four cases in three transits so four cases of beer in the second week of the production lead time four cases in the first week of production lead time and four cases at the beginning of first week of production lead time so instead of transportation delay in case of manufacturer it is you know it is because of the production lead time there is four cases of beer in uh, in this duration of lead time and each player has an outgoing order of four cases sitting in the outgoing order box the outgoing order box is also called as your production order box the retailer must begin with 20 weeks of the customer demand information and this customer demand information will be provided by the game coordinator or instructor so the game coordinator or instructor they will act as the end customer and they will give data about the quantity of demand that they are going to order to the retailer okay and the retailer will complete all the information based on different steps that i am going to discuss in the subsequent slides after completing all the details at the end the retailer will write down the quantity of demand to the wholesaler similarly the wholesaler will write down the quantity of demand to the distributor and the distributor will also mention or make an order of the beer to the manufacturer okay so just all this recording of the demand will be done in 20 sticky note pads for each supply chain member just to summarize again 
the game begins with fully loaded pipeline with 12 cases of beer in ending inventory four cases in second week in bound delay four cases in the beginning of the first week in bound delay and four cases of the big of first week beginning in bound delay so these are all the starting condition of the game let us now um discuss about each week steps in detail okay so the first step is uh to look at the beginning inventory calculate the beginning inventory and that you can calculate by looking at the ending inventory of the previous week add the quantity of beer cases in the second week inbound of the previous week next step check the orders in transit every time you have to move the supply chain the last two column move forward that is relating to the first week supply chain in the third step place a new order enter the demand from customer and calculate the ending inventory that is the beginning inventory minus the demand from customer and then place your order in the fourth step prepare inventory just uh, you know check if the demand from the customer exceeds the beginning inventory or not the difference will be entered in the back order and ending inventory must be zero when you have a back order in the step 5 you have to calculate the total cost find out the total cost by taking into account the ending inventory cost and the back order cost each ending inventory is around $1 and the back order is around $2 so all these steps will be done by the retailer wholesaler distributor and the manufacturer okay so everyone have to follow this steps mostly so this is a template that i have created in excel to record the inventory each player they have to record their inventory details in the excel sheet so if you are going to play the game prepare template with similar you know details for retailer for wholesaler manufacturer right prepare the templates so you have to prepare for each supply chain partner and this is this is the template that i have created for the retailer and to play the game i thought that uh, you can play it for 20 weeks so i have mentioned 20 weeks for the game the initially the instructor will give you the detail about the quantity demanded from the customer so see there is in column b there is the demand for customer column where you have to put the detail about the demand from customer in the third column in column c there is detail of the ending inventory and as i've said you uh, that for week 0 when we start the game there will be the closing inventory of 12 cases of beer so you can see that the ending inventory is 12 right then there is another column in column d where you have to get information for beginning inventory you have to find you have to calculate the beginning inventory and that you can do by looking at the ending inventory figure which is uh, 12 right and add the cases of beer in the second week inbound so in the second week supply chain time there is four cases so beginning inventory will be 16 okay so this is the data relating to the beginning inventory then what you have to do you have to move the truck from the last two column to one week forward so the last two columns like in the column i and j there are four cases of beer you have to move one week forward 
and then you have to enter the demand from the uh, you know from the customer and calculate the ending inventory and uh, find out the beginning inventory deduct the demand from customer and there is another column relating to the back order if if the demand from customer exceeds from the beginning inventory there is more demand but the quantity you have in your inventory is less right so you cannot fulfill your demand the difference will be entered as the back order and because you cannot fulfill the demand so there will be no ending inventory and therefore the ending inventory will be recorded as zero for that week when you have uh, whenever you have any kind of back order okay so when remember whenever there is any kind of back order ending inventory will be zero and you have the back order say for example suppose the difference or uh, the amount of back order is um, three cases of beer so what you have to do multiply two dollars with the three cases of beer which is six dollar and record that amount in the back order then there is another column which is your total cost so that will be calculated based on the amount of holding cost or the inventory cost and the back order cost okay so this is a simple template in my second video the part two of the so this is the part one of the video game there will be another video which is part two where i can share the templates relating to the retailer wholesaler manufacturer okay and uh, that template will give a guideline that how you know uh, data is generally entered and how you can create a template for the beer game just to let you know that uh, the winning team is the team with the lowest total supply chain cost so your objective is to minimize the cost to summarize again a typical game progresses for 20 weeks as i've mentioned in the previous slide and the objective of this course is to introduce the bull whip effect into the game we have discussed in the you know that the bull whip effect is ki it's kind of erratic behavior in the customer demand so how we can understand the bull whip effect we can know it from this game this game you can play with uh, using the sticky note pads for the beer order and use excel sets to keep the track of inventories orders and back orders and whenever you are playing all the player must take care not to talk with each other not to talk with other players during the game or to show what orders they are receiving and planning for the next week so you, you should not show what what are the quantity of orders that you are receiving or what you are planning to order for the next week okay so keep it to yourself the retailer must not look at uh, future customer demand data the future customer demand data will be given by the instructor or the game coordinator so the retailer should not look at that um, basically the objective is that uh, you have to see you know that in a real world what happens when there is no communication about the future orders or order strategy between the supply chain manager what happens so you are going to play from week 0 to week 20 and at the end of 20 weeks player determine the total cost of the inventory and the back order in the inventory record set remember just to remind you again the back order cost two dollar per unit per week and the inventories cost around one dollar per unit per week 
again just to um, let you know that if you want you can also play it for 10 weeks or 15 weeks based on the availability of time you can make a shorter version if there is shortage of time or it does time does not permit you to play for 20 weeks given this cost the basic strategy should be to avoid any kind of stock outs and back order so as a player as a member you have to look how you can avoid any kind of stock outs or back order that will help you to minimize your total inventory carrying cost and as I've said to you earlier this requires forecasting the demand accurately right and you can record all your transactions specifically related to the inventory in the inventory record set for forecasting purposes you if you want to forecast accurately you can see how the there is movement of the inventory based on that you can make your orders and finally the uh, by the end of the 20th week the winner will be one who is having the lowest supply chain cost okay as you complete the 20 weeks you can discuss your experience with all the supply chain members so in this game the game coordinator the instructor may ask several questions to the students or the participants so for example all players but the retailer should answer this question what do you think the retailer customer demand pattern look like and how did your customers order vary throughout the game what happened to the customer inventory labels as we moved for backward up the supply chain from retailer to manufacturer and why how could the supply chain member reduce the total inventory and the back order cost in the future so all the players they can report on their experiences playing the game and you can also ask if they understood the bull whip effect from the various demand pattern now say cheers and start playing the beer game with your classmates these are few references i have collected information from these two sources and use this for recording the video thank you very much for watching this video hope you like it if you have any questions please let me know and i love to know your experience as you play the beer game thank you very much